The Connecticut Farm Table Cookbook is all about using fresh seasonal ingredients and author Tracy is here this morning to show us how it's done. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us bright and early on this Sunday. Well, thank you so much for having me. So you can make this, it's macaroon is between a cookie and a cake. Yeah, it's funny because when I was writing the intro for it, I said, I don't even know if I should write cookie. I don't know what a macaroon is yeah. even classified as. Yes, it's, it's a cross between. <laughs> Good, exactly. So Good. what we're going to start off with, with some shredded coconut, and you're going to see how quick you can make this in a matter of minutes. So this cookie is great if you have to bring a dessert to a party or you want to make a quick dessert for your family. This is ideal. Do they freeze well? Um, that's a good question. You Do you know, know that? that? I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of curious. That's, that's a great question. I've never had macaroons left over, I can tell uh, you. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. true. <laughs> and then some granulated sugar, some lemon zest, and some lavender. And lavender pairs really well with uh, lemon zest. Now I found the lavender really interesting. Are there different kinds of lavender, like the perfumey kind and then more of a cooking kind? Exactly, there are, exactly. And what I like about this, um, the lavender in the cookie, it adds like a nice exotic spin to the cookie. Nice. And yes, exactly. So if you go looking for it at a farm stand or a farm itself, they probably have them separated out, the ones that you want to exactly. look for cooking. Exactly. Just make sure that you let them know what you're doing with it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then three egg whites, and that's it. Oh my that, really? That is it. And oh my goodness. And then you mix it. So no flour or anything No. So this is a gluten-free cookie oh as well. Word. I don't think I ever even realized it was gluten-free because it holds together so well. You don't realize that there's no flour in Exa there. Well, it's the egg white. The egg white um, adds a nice um, center that's soft mm -hmm. and also a light texture. So it's all about the egg white. I guess that's what I like about them is that you get that chewy, soft kind of quality. Yeah, to them. exactly. That's, that's Without really... them being really dense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, Tracy, while you're mixing, why don't you tell us a little bit about the cookbook? Sure. The um, cookbook covers the whole state of Connecticut, and there's 150 recipes, and there's something for everyone. 150 for, recipes? 150 recipes. There's something for seafood lovers, for vegetarians, for meat lovers. And then what we're going to use mm -hmm. right here is a uh, cookie scoop, but you could also use two spoons if you want. These are helpful. They are very helpful. You don't have to really scrape when you have that going. Exactly. Nice. And then we're just going to take the um, scoop, scoop it out like this, and you're going to uh, heat your oven to th uh, 325 degrees, mm -hmm. and then you're going to bake these for 10 minutes, and then rotate the cookie sheet and bake for an additional about, I'd say, 15 minutes. It just depends on how large you scoop. The good the thing mixture. about using that is you're getting them pretty much an all uniform size then? Exactly. Okay. And then you can also use the spoon here too to help a little bit because see how that coconut had... He's trying um, to escape. Exactly. He's trying <laughs> to leave the rest of the um, mound there. And, and then that's all you do. And you just uh, bake them until they have a nice golden outside appearance like these. Yes, you can so see wh the, do you the final you, product. You turn yeah. it just so the color is the same all the way Yeah, around? so you just have an even, uh, even cooking consistency okay. exactly in mm. the oven. I think sometimes I just forget to turn them halfway. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, uh, do you seriously? I do, really. <laughs> I guess if you set the timer for half the time, then it'll so ding you, and you'll remember you, to turn you've it. You've made them before? I know. Oh, so you're trying to get me to bring in some yeah, macarons? I, I, I see where this is going. <laughs> well, you should make this. I know. <laughs> Tracy's making them for us right now. I'm curious, how, did you, how did you get the compilation of, of different uh, recipes for the magazine again? Uh, well, I um, just called up farmers, chefs, and food producers throughout the whole state of Connecticut that practice the farm to table movement. Okay. And um, I just told them what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And I have a co author. Her name is Christy, who's wonderful. And we both uh, collaborated on the project, and we just said, hey, we want to put this cookbook together. Would you like to contribute something? I mean, what a better way than going straight to the source, going exactly. to the farmers and the people across the state. So you're really covering every corner of every Connecticut. Every corner then. of Connecticut, exactly. Very cool. Well, Mike, you, you seem like you really want one. Yeah, I do, so actually. Oh, <laughs> good. We'll give them a try this morning here. See, they're nice and chewy in the middle. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. These are fantastic looking. Oh, they're really good. Mm -hmm. The lemon zest is really, you can Isn't it nice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it pairs so nicely with the lavender. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice pairing. They don't overpower each other at all. No. Wow. This, mm. is, I mean, this is good for summer, too, because it's not, you know, it's, you know how you just want something lighter? You don't want that heavy stuff. So exactly. This is, this is perfect. It's light and fresh. It's beautiful. And, so they, and they transport well, too. So again, if you need to bring something to a party, 
this is the cookie. There you go. Where can people find the book, Tracy? You can find it throughout the whole state of Connecticut. Um, you know, local bookstores. You can get it on Amazon as well, Barnes and Noble as well. well thank you so nice. much for joining us. Well, this thank you so morning. much for having me. What a wonderful quick recipe. Mike and I will be back with more news and weather as we try to eat our macaroons right after the break. <laughs>